Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets suffer yet another disappointing loss. And at this point, I don't think fans even care too much even more. They've just given up all hope on this Aaron Rodgers experiment as now the team is going to fall to three and eight. And I think at this point, fans are just hoping that he is not around in 2025. Because when you're seeing these stats, that Aaron Rodgers has a worse winning percentage as a Jets starting quarterback than the likes of Sam Darnold and Zach Wilson, who are probably in worse situations with the rosters built around them. You just have to think Aaron Rodgers simply just isn't what we know Aaron Rodgers to be during his time with Green Bay, which happens. He's going to be 41 soon. And Anthony Richardson, after being benched, he rushed in two touchdowns. One was a big one with under 60 seconds remaining to give the Colts a lead. And they ended up getting the win after Aaron Rodgers took a sack instead of giving his team a shot on the Hail Mary on the final play. So now this offseason, the question is, does he return to the Jets? If he plays, he's probably going to have to be on the Jets because of contract situation. But Ian Rappaport was saying it's a complicated question if he returns because he was asked if he still wants to play in 2025. He said, I think so. But Ian Rappaport said that there's some more open-ended conversations behind the scenes and that he really does believe Rodgers will be weighing retirement. I mean, he was weighing it a couple years back with the Packers before he signed his most recent extension. Also, it has to factor in. He's just not playing well. How much does he want to continue if he just isn't playing at an MVP level anymore. And then you don't know who the head coach is going to be. You don't know if GM Joe Douglas is going to be around. You don't know what the role of owner Woody Johnson is going to be. So there are a lot of questions, but none of them are good things for the Jets right now.